Hello, and welcome to this gameplay walkthrough introducing Raven Strike, the new downloadable content for Ghost Recon Future Soldier. Raven Strike's campaign is an extension of the Future Soldier timeline, taking place halfway through the Russian campaign, right after the Dagestan situation. Today, we'll be looking at the first mission, Operation Secure Dawn, a throwback to classic Ghost Recon gameplay. In the wake of the Russian coup, High Command is taking initiative to establish contact with the Loyalist General Duka by mounting a rescue op on his second-in-command, General Kozlov. Kozlov's plane was shot down at the border of Kazakhstan. He activated his distress beacon, but his actual whereabouts are unknown. As we can see, the forest is teeming with Raven Rock, looking for survivors, trying to wrap up the situation before Moscow's reaction. Let's take them down with the sink shots so they can't raise the alarm. He's down. In this mission, there are some serious complications to consider. Due to the Bodark's heavy jamming in Dagestan, the augmented reality technology is limited and the camo technology has been compromised. Fire! Fire! Eyes on two more. With sensor grenades, drone, and camouflage all out of commission, the player will have to take care of business the old-fashioned way. On your shot. One with a light machine gun. That's a kill. Moving. I've got eyes on two more. You'll have to learn to rely on your senses to spot the enemy's position and assess when to strike without your fancy tools. Add one hostile, light machine gunner. Right over there, by the tree. Holding for your shot. On your word. Got another one here. Up ahead. In this situation, there are several paths that the players can take. However, there is no perfect path. Cabin up ahead, lots of hostiles. Might be a CP. It seems that Raven's Rock set up camp around this crash site, so the ghosts can expect a lot of resistance coming their way. In order to set up a 360 degree ambush, we encourage the players to disperse so that they can cover the situation from all angles. Ahead of us. The ghosts are deep into enemy territory now and are threatened by patrols in every direction. A stealthy, methodical approach is paramount to their survival and to the mission's success. As you may have noticed, the flashlight-wielding soldiers are easier to find. Stationary targets, however, will take a keen eye to spot, like this scout sniper here. important here. Avoid contact. Let's get in close, see what we can find. The plane came down in three sections and the ghosts will have to inspect each site for survivors and electronics. Now it's time to trigger the assault. The ghosts will have to strike fast if they hope to overpower the fire team guarding the plane wreck. Your enemies will use the vehicle's headlights to gain the upper hand and blind your squad, so make sure you take them out during the firefights. The last big section of the plane fell into the swamp and is slowly sinking. Kozlov doesn't seem to be in this location either. The ghosts will have to work their way through the swamp deeper into Raven Rock territory. Being caught in the swamp during a firefight is the worst situation you can find yourself in. There's no cover, your movement rate is at a crawl, and if you get wounded, you won't be able to pick yourself up out of the murky waters. So, check your environment each time when you're advancing through a shootout. The eye in the sky notifies the team of increased movement in a nearby village. If Kozlov's still alive, chances are he's being held there. With the Spec Ops helicopter spotted earlier and the overwhelming Raven Rock presence, it's history. It seems that the ghosts are not out of the woods just yet. Thank you for watching this sneak preview of the Raven Strike DLC campaign. We hope you enjoyed it. See you soon on Ghost Recon Future Soldier.